and Jackson's name is call me Mr. Jackson Bennett Burkett, and I would have rather have attended the All-Star Game for the NBA this past weekend than the 1980 Miracle on Ice. That is what we have in the Horton Watkins studio, Doug. Did he say that? He did, and they didn't like it over on 101 ESPN. He said that? Jackson? Berkey. Yeah. Yep. Living my truth. You're just goading them, in, goading them into... No, that's how I honestly no, feel. he really feels that way. Really? Mm-hmm. You would not have wanted you know, to see the I'm U.S. big in the sketch and bit community, and they were not happy about oh. it. Oh. Well, what are you going to do? Gosh. <laughs> it, it might be the greatest sporting event in American history. That's it's got to be right there. Just like your opinion, man. Nice. Well, oh, yeah, I think the opinion of probably anyone who would have an opinion on that subject would, would include that at least in the top five. Yeah, they would do it, but I don't know if they would mean it. Oh, I don't even know you anymore. Let's roll with the next one. At Joel9 and one spelled out, O-N-E. Do women really like edible arrangements? <laughs> what in the hell? <laughs> There's really no way to answer this question <laughs> but the way I'm going to answer it. Oh, God. Uh, this is YouTube. Women really liking edible arrangements? The answer is it depends on your intent with the edible arrangements. Why do you talk so low for a... It's just that simple. It's a piece of fruit. I don't have to say any more than that. Use your imagination. No. Next one. At J City STL, as in St. Louis. You get to roll with one of the Teletubbies for a day. Who you rolling with? Pooh, La La, Dipsy... <laughs> Or Dinky Winky. <laughs> I'm going with Dipsy. I like the color green and the darker complexion. What can I say? It works for me. That's what I'm rolling with, okay? That's the show, huh? <laughs> I clipped that off. <laughs> yeah, AT&T was gaping me pretty hard. Um, so if you if you guys don't mind, I'd just like to share. Doug, uh, would you like to hear the, the te- Oh, I, I guess. If it's brief. It was about... At 7.15 a.m., I said, if I were an anteater, I would dock that New Hampshire skank and fill his protein gutters. Okay, put him down! Okay! I like protein gutters. Is a term. Uh, recovering alcoholic from Belleville just got himself suspended again. He'd already been on a six-day suspension. Oh, yeah, what happens now? Well, the charges have been troubled. He's now serving an 18-day oh my suspension. God. Wow. Covering alcohol. It's going to take him into mid-March. We'll see it for the Masters. L-L-L. You know, you talk about the sort of it. Suspension Log Hill is sponsored by the Illinois Recovering Center. <laughs> Check out <laughs> IllinoisRecoveringCenter.com while serving your suspension. But I, And I love eggs, and I actually started, it's not a GoFundMe, but it's a charitable thing. And, you know, eggs is always saying money's tight. We respect that. So I started a site called Cigs for Eggs, and what it is now is these can be gently used cigarettes, kind of like a winter coat. People turn them in, so we're going to collect these once a month. They don't have to be brand new cigarettes, but Cigs for Eggs is just a way to collect some butts and hand them over to Eggs, and that way he's got a little something during the breaks to head outside and smoke if he's low on his Cigs that month. Mm -hmm. That's a bad campaign, Martin. That is. It's smoke used cigarettes. We had a girl at 920. We'd go out there and smoke at breaks. Gently used. Well, at 920 when we were out uh, at 920, which is like, what, the Central West End? Yeah, the Pershing so, one. Yeah. yeah, we got to smoke, and then there'd be a homeless girl that would be on the corner, and when we threw the butts out, she'd come get the butts and finish smoking. Oh, them. God. Nice. And then moment. bathe so in that fountain. Pre- there's a precedent for this. Mm. Well, thank you, Martin. I appreciate yeah, the fun. It's not a bad idea. <laughs> not a bad idea. Eggs. Try to keep the eggs. lipstick off the cigarettes that are gently used. Oh, that'd be How about dig for eggs? Well, like dig well, some change. I got one for Doug, too, and this is a Doug. This is actually more of a moneymaker for Doug. He's got thugs for Doug, and when there's an election you don't like, he sends over some goons, and they wear Antifa T-shirts, <laughs> and then that's how they overturn the election. So hmm. if you need help, it could be a local election, national election, thugsfordoug.com. Yeah. Well, I don't mind it, because elections never get tampered with or stolen. Uh-oh. No. That's never happened Come ever. Come on, Martin. You're There's doing a drive-by shooting. You're, you're driving oh, by. There's never been an incident right here. of election interference. That's absolute, never happened. What have you well, done? Then, you right, so pull, you're driving the helicopter said, over the forest. I feel kind of bad. Here. We've got something for Iggy. We've got something for Doug. Mm-hmm. So I called Tim's dad. <laughs> and I said, maybe it's time he's, Tim he's torching gives back, because he's been taken for years. And Mr. McCurtis, 
well, Timmy has done so much for the community. There's no chance. We, I think, if anything, it's time people help him out. So we're going to start Gimme to Timmy. So there's Gimme a new to site Timmy, called Gimme to Timmy. Why does my father sound like Jimmy Stewart? <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's getting up there. Yeah, he is. Up there. Give me a Timmy, Doug. That's yeah, my thing. I don't mind it. It's, it's time people give you, since you've done so much. <laughs> Thank you. Community. Thank you for the acknowledgement of what I've Hey, I got some questions about some older characters from the show. You guys mind if I just kind of fire off some questions and yeah, you guys answer fine. them? Yeah, Doug's so taking where questions. Where are they now? Yes, yeah, it's fine. All right, first one, and I know, Doug, you're going to like this one. Jackie J. Where, where's Jackie J? Oh, boy. You're talking about the holeless one? Yeah, man. I think that was the core issue. Once she called in to reveal she had no holes, we never heard from her again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's all that. So Doug <laughs> thinks she it, at some point exploded. Uh, it could well have uh, imploded. Yeah. Rich, Rich from Arizona, go. What? Don't what? tell us to go. He did that. He, he he would call in from Arizona when we were at nine twenty because I can mm -hmm. picture being in the Pershing Studios. But uh, man, then he disappeared. He was great. He was he was selling guy, cars I like in Glendale, it, 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 in like, Glendale, Arizona, I believe. Yeah. And he was like super antagonistic about stuff. I forgot what. Maybe the Rams or something. I don't know. It was just really funny. He was he was one of the media in this town or a bunch of frauds guys. There is not a doubt in my mind that height is more important than a full head of hair in 2024. Now, maybe when guys, Doug, like in the 70s, 80s, if they lost their hair, they would either kind of do the Gene Cady or they would just like look like the bishop, you know, where you mm -hmm. had that terrible male pattern baldness thing. But now, and and, and maybe I'm, I need to perhaps be more specific if it's a girl who can kind of call her shots in be picky in some capacity, they're going to choose height over hair. And then I entered into the discussion hog size oh, oh. and then net worth. So these are all as, how would you rank these things? Number one, net worth. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't really take a lot of no, time. To one think through five is net worth. <laughs> right. And then maybe you get to the look. Number two, I'd say is height. I agree with you. Number there. three would be hair. And number four would be hogs. <laughs> because you're past the point of no return at that before you ever figure out what the hog size is. I mean, I'm right. not lying. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Well, I'm hold on. Guessing. Let me see if anybody's got any, if any cash has been hmm. sent in. I take the hat off. I, I take money. the understrode as five, six, five, seven. That's, take, but that's a different person. Take the shoes and the hat I don't see any off. actual money yet. No, this is, these are flats. I'm not taking my shoes off. Well, let me get straight 150 cash. Those aren't flats. Yes, they are. <laughs> No one wears flats. They're flat shoes. There's no but heels. No, there's at least shoes. a half an inch of shoes. I'm taking half an inch off then. I'm not taking my shoes off for this crap. I don't really care. Okay, don't get angry. Martin was right. I'm going to take my hat off. Look at that lid. Oh. God, that's nice. Heels up against the wall, sir. Nice. Doug, what do you think? Over or under? I think you have to subtract half an inch for the flats. I'm taking half an inch off. I'm eating a half I don't even know if that's even a half an inch. <laughs> he looks so angry. 62 inches. 5'2"? 5'2". Am I right? Yeah, 60 inches is 5, five feet. 5 feet, right. Mm -hmm. How kind of operation is this? Uh, 64 and a half. 64 what? 5'4 and a half. Five, four and a half. <laughs> Plus, <laughs> take, take away that. You're 5'4". I'm not 5'4". What five, the hell? Come on. You're 5'4". We just measured you. Well, that's wrong. What, the tape measures? You're right? literally 5'4". Five, five, we just bashed people that were 5'5". Five, five. <laughs> that's a dwarf. We just dragged Iggy. <laughs> Why is dwarf two just syllables now? Are you sure that was accurate, Jackson? <laughs> I'm not five four and a half. You know that. <laughs> that is one of the funniest. This is like weighing one seventeen. Every time we do these measurements in here, I'm stunned by the results. <laughs> like, like so far outside the bell curve. Five four and a half. I can't believe that, that that that's right. Here, back up. Put your head against the wall. There we go. Now oh, everyone. You don't have to close your eyes, Iggy. That won't that won't change the height. In order for this organization to have success, and I've said it before, you had Tony La Russa, had no ties with the Cardinals. That's what you need. You need somebody with zero ties to the Cardinals for a manager position. Look at what we've done. Mike Matheny, Schill, Ollie, none of it's actually working. There are wins there, little minor successes, but like, you know, deep playoff runs and World Series appearances aren't happening. Mm -hmm. There are too many yes guys. There are too many people that are attached to the players. You need somebody with 
no knowledge of this organization I'm about know. to come in there and shake it. You have to, dog. But, but look, how, why There's did no La reason that Tony La Russa went the last successful manager outside. Oh, I, I'll I, give I, you I, a I, reason. I, it's insane. I'll give you the reason. Albert Pujols. Okay. Uh, give Albert Pujols in his prime to some of these other managers. You don't think they'd have been better? So you're talking about one player. So TLR had success Pujols, because of one Scott player? Scott Rowling, Jim Edmonds, well, Molina in his prime, Adam Wainwright in his prime, Chris Carpenter. LaRusse had some great players. All of players. this before Mozeliak actually had decision-making ability, too, by the way. All of these moves. No, that's true. But LaRusse had a lot more talent than the guys do now. A lot more. He had one of the great players of all time in the middle of his lineup for 10 years. At the desk where I sit, I have learned one great truth. The answer for all of our daily problems, the answer for all the problems of the world, comes to a single word. And that word is a name. And that name is Tim. But this email is about an admission. I, too, have a gambling problem. I can't stop going to the casino. River City. I had one big... I had one big on the dollar slots, but Doug, one was spelled O-N-E. So it tripped me up a little bit. Yeah, I see. Yeah, throw them. My pockets were full, so I decided to leave whilst I was up. As I walked, I jingled with the sound of success, and then I heard him. I'll have sex with a man for money. I was like, I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. He said it again. I'll have sex with a man for money. As I turned my head, the window from the Sunset Hills Elks Club tour bus rolled down. Oh, is that a roll of silver dollars in your pocket, or are you just glad to see me? Get on in here. I've got a gallon of bunny tracks and nobody to lick it off. Oh, I do like bunny tracks. As I entered, he told me, for 50 bucks, I'll ride you without a saddle. He could see I was scared stiff. With that, he grabbed my pink cigar and moved it around the ice cream <laughs> like a Michelangelo with a brush. Oh, <laughs> With a firm hand cupping my man sack, he skillfully cleaned up my yum yum cannon. Oh. Skip and Tony have the day off. <laughs> <laughs> That's from Ben, and then he has a middle name of Jurgen, and then his last name is Hoff. Ben Jurgenhof. 